Hello and welcome to day 51 of our Divi 100 Marathon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our free header UI kit to customize your website's header area to however you want it to look. We've had a few questions from the community saying the header area that comes with Divi is not very flexible. So this layout kit is going to help you achieve that flexibility. Okay, let me show you how to install and use this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we install the header UI kit. And to do that, you have to log into your WordPress admin. First, I've already gone ahead and logged in. So go to Divi, Divi library. And then what you need to do is to click on import and export. Click import, choose file. And then now you can see I've gone ahead and downloaded the header UI kit. Um, way ahead of time. So all you need to do is to click on it, click open, and then import the Divi uh, Builder layout. Now I've already gone ahead and done that. So what you need to do next is to create a page. I'm just gonna call this page HDR. So once you've created the page, what you need to do is to load the UI kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and load from library and then click on add from library. And then we can see here, this is where our Divi um, UI kit is. So I'm going to click load. And now you can see that they're all loaded on this page. So after you've installed them, what you need to do is to make sure that you save these as or one of these as a global item. Now what that allows you to do is if you make a change uh, at any time, once your website is up and running, that change will be replicated throughout the whole website. So let's go ahead and make this a global item. So I'm going to right click and save to library. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it HDR. And then this is the important bit. You need to make sure you save it as global and then save and add to library. Okay, so you can see that the color has changed as well. So the next important thing is when you start creating your pages, you need to make sure that it's not set to default template, but to blank. If you set it to default template, it will have the header that comes with Divi by default. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a new page. And uh, create a new page by clicking Add New. And then I'm gonna call this page Mac. Click on Use Divi Builder. Now we need to add from library. So I'm gonna click on Add from library and we can see here is the layout that we um, saved as global earlier on. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm just, gonna I'm just gonna drag it to the top because that's where the header needs to be. Now, this is the important bit. What you need to do is to make sure that you change default template to blank template. In fact, let me show you what that looks like if you save it as default template. So I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. And then we're gonna preview this page. So as I mentioned before, um, if you save it as a normal, normal uh, as a default template, you will have the default header that comes with Divi right here on the top. And this is not what we want. So I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna click on blank page. And then this time I'm gonna click update and then we're gonna do another preview. So this time if I do a view, we're gonna see that we have the header that we, we would like to display. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. Now, all you have to do now moving forward is you can go ahead and start creating all the other pages that you need for your website. And as I mentioned before, uh, once you've uh, selected this header, you can always go ahead and make some changes to it. So, so for example, if you need to change the links, all you need to do is to go into the settings here. And uh, because the text is white, you can't see it here, but if I highlight it, you can see that these are our links. So you could go in there, add the links to the pages you need to navigate to, and you can also go ahead and make uh, even more changes. You can go into the section and change the background color. So you can just go in there, change the color to whatever suits you. This is how you use the header UI kit to customize your header part of the website. So there you have it. This is how you use the header UI kit to customize your website and make it look the way you want it to look. I hope this video helps. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and also do follow us on our social media platforms. And we're also counting down to the release of the new Divi 3.0.
So stay tuned and we'll keep producing more videos like these to help you motivated and inspired to create awesome looking websites. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to day 49 of our DV100 marathon. In this video, it's all about the profile page. Now you can really make your profile page really look awesome because this page is about you. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can take your profile page to the next level using our profile page layout pack. Let me show you how to do it.